everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for my little hiatus. I was a bit busy creating new accessories for my shop and also preparing for my artist booth for a convention took way too much time. But now I'm back and I already have some very interesting new videos planned so stay tuned for that. So in this video I wanted to quickly address some things about my last video. If you don't know I primarily talked about non-Asian people faking their race or parts of their appearance to look Asian. And at the end of the video while discussing this girl I said that white people don't have monoliths and that monoliths are a trait that only Asians, Inuit, Native American and African people have. And there are quite a few people who wanted to correct me on that. Let's read some examples. Actually, white people have monoliths. Some Finnish people have them. Just to correct you on one point, some white people have monoliths. There are white people with monoliths. It's not wholly uncommon among Finnish people, like Björk. Um, pretty sure Björk is from Iceland. Björk has monoliths. She's European. You're really gonna call out people's aspirations and aesthetics just because you're also racist? That's actually incorrect. Some white people do have monoliths. For example, Jens or Björk. So I think a lot of people just confuse the epicanthic fold with monoliths. These two are not the same thing. Epicanthic fold, as it already says in the name, are eyelids with fold. Monoliths have no fold at all. These monolith examples that those people gave are all false. Björk, Jens, as you can see, they all have a clear fold, therefore they're just hooded eyelids. Hooded eyelids, hooded eyelids, epicanthic fold, epicanthic fold, epicanthic fold. So here's an interesting example, J-Hope. A lot of people would actually say that he has monoliths. Well, you're wrong. He has indeed double eyelids, just very small ones. Here are some examples of actual monoliths. So again, I repeat, white people or Nordic Europeans don't have monoliths. Of course, if they are mixed, it can occur, but then again, they wouldn't be 100% white, they are mixed. So again, I'm talking about solely white slash European descent people, so please don't confuse that. I really don't understand how some people felt so attacked when I was just stating a fact. I mean, I get if people were just uninformed on the difference between certain eyelids, but straight up calling me a racist or demanding me to google before I say things when I clearly know what I'm talking about is a bit irritating. Here's another lovely comment that I got often. Stop it and leave people alone. They are trying to be Asian, then leave them alone. I mean, if you're gonna hate on them, then think about it, because you're talking in English. Oopsie, you wanna be American. <laughs> Maybe I come off a bit harsh in my commentary videos, but I truly don't hate on anybody. I didn't slander them, I didn't say that I despise these race fakers. If anything, I find them rather fascinating, and I made it with a personal childhood story of mine clear that I kind of feel for them almost like i don't want to say that i understand them because obviously i don't but i can acknowledge that most of them probably have deeper issues faking their heritage on this extent just does not seem mentally healthy the only thing that I really regret saying in my last video is the term whiteies. Even though the white people in my last comment section didn't say that it's like an actual racist word rooted in history where white people were oppressed, I just don't feel comfortable using that word anymore and I wish I can delete the parts where I said whiteies because honestly, I think that was a bit demeaning, hypocritical and childish of me. But anyways, I'm sorry and I'm not gonna say that word anymore. So now I quickly want to address these comments because I got a lot of similar ones to these two and you know it's it's so frustrating when I'm just talking about a few certain problematic weirdos and all of a sudden people assume I don't like their entire race. Imagine having this exaggerated black and white view on everything. It's like saying, oh my god, this person said they don't like kimchi. It must mean they hate the entire country of Korea and its people. Like, come on, chill. First of all, it's not that deep. And second of all, I'm pretty sure that most people judge other people for their personality and their actions and not their race. <laughs> okay. So stop projecting and stop assuming weird things, please. And then I had some really salty people in my comment section saying very confusing stuff. For example, 
So where's the proof that you are Asian? Under all that makeup, bet you're just a white person like me. Stop trying to be something that you are not. You're just as privileged as I am. I feel like these people were so frustrated and angry about the fact that I was calling out these race figures that they accused me of being a white person. Like, apparently I myself fake my heritage to be Asian and <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I can promise you that I'm 100% Asian and no, I'm not half white or half Mexican. I'm just bland Asian. Yes, I'm actually mixed, but I'm just a mixed Asian. Asian with Asian. There's nothing exciting or exotic about my mixture. So yeah, this is all I wanted to address. In other news, I made some new chokers for my shop. New pom-pom chokers in much more colors and designs, new hard crystal chokers, transparent kitty chokers and big bell chokers. I finally put up the booty necklace on my shop and I also made a lot of new doll faces. And I added new accessories for the doll faces as well. Before they were available as chokers, chain chokers and necklaces, now they're all also available as clear plastic necklaces and necklaces with different colored bows. So yeah, please check them out. The link is in the description below. By the way, if you want to see how I make these faces, stay tuned for my next video. I'm finally bringing back my doll face series. In the next doll face episode, I'm gonna create new, bigger doll face brooches where I'm also going to share a little story about my last convention. People who follow my Instagram probably already know what it is about. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyways, for the end of this video, I'm gonna open some packages that I received recently. Dear Michelle, hello, I am one of your subscribers and I really like your artwork. The sleeping doll is created by a doll artist and I hope you will take good care of it. Keep up your good work. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, what kind of doll did you send me? I'm so excited. Oh, I think this is it. Oh, oh, look how pretty she is. And all the details. Oh my god need you guys to oh, look at all these details wow thank you so much let's see what else is in there 
Oh my god, no. Did you actually send me earrings? Oh, wow, look at how cute. Wait, let me try it out. Ooh. Oh, they're so cute. Thank you. I am so into earrings lately. Wow. So cute. It's a little anime figure that I can build. Finished. <laughs> Thank you. So cute. This is the coolest charm ever and it kind of looks handmade. Wow, it's so little and cute. Thank you. I will take good care of my three little dolls. What's this? Huh, two butterfly. Oh, oh my god, that would be such a cool like makeup concept. Butterflies on the cheeks. Oh my god, should I make a makeup tutorial using these? Thank you, it's very beautiful. Ooh, I love this. I'm way too old for plushies, but I still have like an unhealthy obsession with them. Ooh, oh, I think she sent me some crafting supplies. Oh, I could totally use that for my doll faces. Oh, a little mold for crafting as well. And I think these are like mold for crystals and gems. Oh, screen! <laughs> oh, so cute! Oh my god, this reminds me of Koya. It kind of feels wet too. This reminds me of that one sleeping Pokemon. Oh my god. This is so satisfying. This might be a weird question, but you guys know how men have these jiggly things in between their legs. Don't you girls also have that urge to just grab them and squeeze them really hard till they pop in your hand? <clears throat> Anyways, um... Ooh! <gasps> Glitter! Oh, yeah. Oof. Oh, so this is not glitter, but a little container. I love the stickers on it. It's such a cute container. Oh my god, I love it. I'm obsessed with like small miniature things. You're so thoughtful. Thank you so much for sending me this because I always need these. And last but not least, beautiful little charms. Ooh. Oh no! Insects that I found in my basement. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna open it later. That looks like a cupcake. A little cupcake creation. A cake? Wow! This is so cool! Thank you so much! I wonder if that's handmade. Is that a little dollhouse? Did you make that with a... D pen. It is handmade. Oh my god, look at this! A handmade house. This is so cute. It's a little pencil holder. Oh, oh I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I still have to open this. I hope these are dead. There are three spiders, a bug, and a little fly. Definitely gonna use those for my doll faces. Thank you so, so much. I love it. Oh, and I also got a little letter from Tatiana from the US. Ooh. I freaking wish I was as beautiful as this drawing. Thank you so much. <gasps> Another drawing. Oh my god. Wow, I love this. My subscribers are so freaking talented. Look at this. And a little letter. Hello Michelle, I recently discovered your videos. I love your sense of humor and the way you approach topics. What kind of clay or material do you use for the doll faces you create? I use Fimo makeup books. They inspired me to try doing more eye makeup, even though I've never liked makeup too much before. Any tips? Just experiment a lot with makeup till you find something that fits you the most. That's how I did it. I still think I kind of suck at makeup, but when it comes to makeup, it's always, you know, you never stop learning. There's always new things to learn. And especially since makeup is such 
a creative process, I don't think there are like clear rules when it comes to, you know, doing your eye makeup or your lips. Just find something that suits you the most or that you like the most. Just go for it, you know? <laughs> so cute! Song recommendations! Yes, I don't know any of those songs. Oh, I love it. Please guys, keep commenting or keep sending me DMs with song recommendations. I love the scarring new music. I did some drawings, paintings of you. I thought you were a model. Oh, bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I included some stickers as well. You included some stickers? Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh. Oh. I know that someone sent me snake skin, so I'm gonna open this package on my table. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh my god! Okay, so the reason why someone sent me snake skin is because you guys know how I make accessories using real dead insects. And this person on Instagram DM'd me a week ago or something and she suggested me to create something with real snake skin. And of course, I said yes because I would love to experiment with something like that. So yeah, that's the backstory. I'm much more scared of live insects, but Oh god, this definitely gives me a little bit of creeps. <laughs> Let me just get the note. Dear Michelle Moe. Okay, so I'm gonna open the package like this because I want to be as careful as possible because I don't want to damage the snake skin. Wow! Oh my god, these are so thin. Oh god, this is so thin and delicate. Oh wow. I expected them to be really crusty, but they are really, really thin. I wonder if I can encase them in resin. I definitely have to do some research on that. Definitely can't wait to see what kind of accessories I can create with that. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you guys again so much for your support and your lovely gifts. Oh my god, I say this every time, but I truly, truly don't deserve you guys. One last thing I wanted to say is I made a bunch of new chokers and doll faces, as you can see. So please check them out on my shop. I also do custom doll faces. So if you want an anime inspired doll face or a horoscope inspired doll any any doll face really you can dm me on instagram or you can just you know write me an email i really do enjoy making doll faces especially custom doll faces because i feel like it also gives me such a unique chance to connect with my subscribers or people who are fans of my shop so yeah if you're interested i leave all the information in the description below thank you guys so much much for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye!